Skip Orth with Father and Son Pest and Lawn Solutions and today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to winterize your irrigation pump and how to reprime it in the springtime. So when the weather starts getting cooler and winter sets in you don't need to irrigate your lawn uh, really after November. We recommend that after November uh, in northwest Florida, lawn doesn't need any irrigation. And in order to prevent the lawn pump from freezing up and cracking, in the event we get some really hard freezes, which we can get here in northwest Florida, it's a good idea to drain all the water out of the pump and winterize it. We're going to show you how to do that today. So what we have here is uh, we have an irrigation pump. And the, the, the parts of this pump, this is the electric motor and this is the actual pump part of the um, of the unit that has the water in it and actually as you can see on this particular pump there's a weld right here along the side of this pump and that's where this pump actually froze and cracked at one time and fortunately we were able to re-weld it and it and uh, it still work but some sometimes you can do that sometimes you can't it's always best to go ahead and drain it uh, in the fall at the beginning of winter so you don't have to worry about that so how you drain the pump is you go down here to the bottom of the the um, the cavity that holds the water and there's a plug here these these plugs um, take a 9 16 inch wrench to undo the plug, so I'm going to put that wrench on there and just oh, just unscrew this plug. Like so, and then all the water is going to come out. Now, in order to facilitate the water coming out better, I'm going to open the spigot at the top of the pump and once I open this it's going to allow air to come in fill the cavity as the water comes out so I'm going to open that and you can see the water coming out very quickly now and we're going to give that a few minutes or actually it's only going to take less than a minute to drain all out now once all the water has been drained out um, I recommend that you take the plug and replace it in the hole. And there's a couple reasons I recommend that. Number one is I uh, had, had a number of people put the plug somewhere and then they forget where they put it and they lose the plug. So when they go to prime, the prime, the pump, prime their pump uh, the following spring, they don't have the plug and they don't know uh, where to find it and they have to go get another plug. Uh, the second reason I recommend replacing a plug is that uh, if you leave this hole open for several months, say from November to March or April when you reprime the pump, these threads have a tendency to get rusty and when they get rusty it's harder to replace the plug. But if you replace the plug now after it's drained and just put it in there, you know where the plug is and the threads are not going to get rusty so it's not going to be hard to uh, replace there the next time you need to do that. So the pump is now winterized and if we get a hard freeze it won't be a problem because all the water is drained out and it won't damage the pump if we if we get a hard freeze and by the way a hard freeze if it gets down to 32 degrees this isn't going to get damaged however if it gets down into the the mid to low 20s for several hours at a time that's when you need to be worried about the pump freezing it's when we get these long cold spells uh, when the uh, the temperature gets down to the mid 20s at night and during the day it doesn't get any higher than in say the 40s and then drops down again at night uh, into the mid 20s that's when there's a real danger of these pumps freezing okay so now we will show you how to reprime the pump the following spring okay so now we are going to reprime our pump um, after it was winterized and the way we do that, we first turn the pump on. We go into the 
timer and turn it on the on position. This pump is now running, but obviously there's no water coming out of it because it's been drained. So what we're going to do is we're going to prime it and get it to start pulling water out of the well and start working again. So the way we do that, we turn the pump on, we open this spigot all the way up to where it's open, and we'll take a water garden hose and we'll hold this garden hose over this this spigot so that the water goes into the spigot down here and into the pump cavity. After we hold it there for several seconds, you'll hear the pump actually start to change. The sound of the pump will start to change as it starts drawing water out of the well, and eventually it'll, it'll pick up the water and water will come shooting out of the spigot. So here's how we do that. Now, um, you can get two female couplers to screw on here and then screw on the hose. I don't bother with that. I just hold it with my, with my hand and that gets enough water into the pump so that it primes it. So here we go. I'm going to stand back and you can hear the pump, the, the sound of the pump start to change now as it's starting to pull the water out of the well and you'll start to feel the pressure coming out of the spigot. And there we go. And then we just close the spigot and the system is primed. So that's how we winterize our pump and we prime it in the spring.